Now to Kaduna State, where 28 kidnapped victims have been rescued by the Navy. Among them are women who disclosed that they were sexually assaulted by their abductors. Nine suspects have been arrested and handed over to the Department of State Services for prosecution. Tessa Makindi has update. These are some of the rescued victims in company of their loved ones. The confessor paid ransom in different sums adding up to about 8 million naira. But luck ran out on their captors during operations by personnel of the Nigerian Navy from the School of Armament Technology in Kachia, Kaduna State. Following the authorities say they were caught operating a military camouflage on motorbikes using heavy weapons. Some of the victims of the criminals they were unable to meet their demands were instantly killed while others were either maimed or injured. Also, some of the female victims were raped. We are handing over the criminals to the Department of State Security Services for profiling and further investigations. Abdullahi Hassan is a local chief whose two wives were whisked away in one night. He tells me he had to sell 10 cows to get the 1 million naira demanded as ransom for their release. They came after midnight and took away my two wives. I had to pay 1 million naira after selling 10 of my cows. One of the wives is happy to have been rescued. Another victim says ransom for him was over 2 million naira. Both say their days in captivity were harrowing. They came while we were sleeping and took me away. It was such a terrible time with them. For three days, we were in the bush. It was when 2.7 million naira was paid that they released me. These naval personnel have renewed commitments to protection of lives and property. But they want the public not to succumb to threats by criminals. They further charge them to be united in their communities, saying criminality mostly thrives where there is support from within. The arrest, parade and handover of the suspects, according to authorities here, came after over four months of surveillance. They say they were hibernating in isolated forests, houses and hotels. Tassam Akendi, TVC News.